here we are at the down home. So the room, as is behind me, it's a lot of barn wood. I would describe it as an intimate spot to come in. There's not a lot of riffraff of beer advertisements. So a lot of people come and they travel to kind of get back to somewhere or get on to somewhere. And the musician or whatever happens on the stage, a lot of times propels that thinking, that feeling, you know. My father, um, he was a full of brush man and that's a door to door salesman. And he sold hairbrushes and brooms and uh, we traveled lots of different places. I was born in Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, we lived in several different southern places, and then we ended up in Johnson City, when, and I went through most of school here. I've lived other places, but it got me to Johnson City. So, play in different places. There was not a lot of places to play in Johnson City. There was a little coffee house on the campus of ETSU called the uh, Fatted Calf, and in high school, I started playing there and the folks were older than me, but they were, had an interest in folk, kind of, kind of that period of time, uh, interest in, you know, music was very broad, but it was also very central. There wasn't a lot of genres. Everyone kind of got turned on to the same song. I love that, I still miss that. I'm always trying to find that connection. So, we needed a place. So my friend, uh, Tank, it's his nickname, he goes, we need to open up a, place people come to listen to music. And I'd been traveling around and seen, I've been and played in some of those places, like a place in Cambridge, Massachusetts, called the uh, Club Passine. There's a place in Nashville called the Exit Inn. Um, and I knew how those places worked and I knew how powerful they were. And I said, hey, we can do that here. And I followed him with uh, saying, let's just do it. You know, and we did it and people started going, what are you all doing? It's like, we're building a little music room. Well, I can do this. Oh, okay, come and help us. And before long, there's 20 people in here, hammers and nails, sawing wood and putting up all this uh, barn wood. And a lot of folks wanted to make a place where you could come and enjoy whatever's on the stage. And you know what else goes well with the vision is cold beer. Beer and music work very well together. We don't have anything harder. Uh, other, other uh, alcohol makes people noisy and gets their mouth moving too quick, you know? But um, the vision is still the same. Try to get people out, try to get people to come see something they don't know, and trust the down home that it's gonna be good. I think there's, there's been a few weird shows and kind of, yeah, really, okay. But most everything's good. It made me feel good that we were able to open up the club and have the first show. And the band came in early that afternoon and they peeked their head around the door and they go, are we playing here tonight? And we all go, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was sawdust, things were not ready. But they got ready by, uh, by six o'clock that evening. And a big time was had by all. And my name is Eddie Lynn Snodderly. You go, Snodderly? I go, yeah. Why didn't you change your name? It's like, hey man, my grandfather, he plowed fields and played old time fiddles and his last name was Snodderly. So I keep it, that's my name. Thinking of those old and strong. Ah, they didn't have half and still got it long. Yes, they did. That's only the half of it. Man. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.